so yeah, I'm um, I have I still have a relationship with the small ones, um, and I've been trying to work with the really large ones, which are which are more in the mid mid mountains in the Blue Mountains. Um, there's sort of this this corridor between the Lake Burragarang, that whole area right through to the Blue Breaks and beyond, like south essentially of that that great that that highway in the Blue Mountains. Um, sometimes they do need to cross through towns to get over to the gross area. Um, and so that's been a great area for uh, trying to research and experience the Yowie. Uh, another reason why I don't do videos is um, I just drive up and down that highway at 3 a.m. all the time now looking for Yowies and I'm so tired during the daytime. Um, I just don't have the energy uh, offered to make films. Uh, however, I've, ha I've had a few. I've had a few experiences. They yell out "busted." They don't seem to. The funny thing with yowies that are 15 feet tall and weigh, you know, 300 kilos or more, they they actually don't seem to be too scared. Um, the other thing I've noticed is that they they're exceptionally active immediately after or even during rainfall. Um, there's something to do with water there. I don't know. I don't know if it's because they they can conceal their footprints in that manner because um, the the rain sort of moves the sediment around and their footprints are are not uh, visible or whether it's something more to do with them being an electrical being, as as everything is essentially, and and some some sort of phenomenon in the atmosphere when everything's wet that enables them to be active or at least visible um, to the human sort of spectrum of perception. So when it rains, I mean, I'm, I'm on the road, I'm in the bush, uh, and. Um, and it's coming through with some good results. There's a there's a lot that I I can tell you that I'll keep um, I'll keep to myself for now. Um, upon agreement with the Yowie, we can communicate in a psychic manner, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, they they told me all about 2009. There's not many yet. Like 2019 was a heavy hit, a heavy hit all the way down from Queensland. Um, there was a concerted effort by sort of the the, the black ops um, community working in tandem with state institutions and and their superiors to burn as much as possible. Um, It even come back after it was extinguished, where where there was little hot spots, you know, down sort of between Woodford and Weddy, and come back and burn it out where they think they might have migrated to the the, the strag, the, the ones that could not get flushed out and or, or burnt by the fire, and you know they'd burn off, and at the same time you'd have these sort of pri very private jets and various other technologies working the perimeter. Um, looking for the Yowie. Uh, ideally, they'd get them alive and uh, take them to a base somewhere, you know, where they took that Malaysian plane or something. There's so many. There's so much tunneling that's happened since um, since they did some some deals with the with the world's best tunnelers, and there's so many places that we're not aware of where where these kind of experiments can occur. Um, and uh, they told me a lot about it's it's a, it was a traumatic event obviously 2019 into 2020 um, of course we were all sort of consumed with the the bread and circus of the spicy spicy cough uh, however um, yeah the, the, there's a lot of conversation with me and the Yowie about about that and the, the struggles that they they um, they had 
during that period to um, retain their lifestyle, which is a lifestyle of, of, of being wholly integrated with the natural world um, from the surface of the earth and beyond. I mean, everything is one. Um, so they have some cosmic, some powers and, and abilities which uh, we can't comprehend to, to, to sort of move and appear and um, but, but, but they, they are dependent still on um, this earth very much so um, and they're very reluctant to um, become augmented or synthesized or um, controlled really that like they, they, they the only dependency that they they wish to have is with nature um, the really big ones a vegetarian that's not to say they could have like rip you in half with two index figures but they're not going to eat you uh, they're vegetarian, which is something oh, I suspected, but um, didn't didn't know until they told me. Um, and they do, like I said, they require they require the forest not not just for concealment, but for the type of nourishment that they that the, the, the foods that they eat and also the the energies and powers that they possess require um a lot of sort of um a lot of treats put it that way so um haven't seen any yowies yet um i did bury my poo Uh, so that shouldn't scare them away too much. There's a bit of, I sort of, um, I, I've been eating pretty well, but I can't imagine that, you know, it would uh, attract them much. Uh, and it's quite dry lately. Um, so that makes things a little bit harder. Uh, sort of re-entering that, um, phase of clouds not precipitating, you know, just all this kind of light cirrus, a bit like leading right up to 2019, we're back in, in that in that cycle. We've got hundreds of planes, hundreds of planes just travelling through that, that stratosphere and um, could be in for a, a bit of dry weather for a while, I'm not the one to know. Um, but the search continues. Um, I partly made a video just to touch base with my enormous um, community of supporters uh, and I was also um, I, I get stopped in the streets so much about Yowies and um, it's it's great really that I was I was uh, accosted by a, a supporter let's just say his name was Nori um, who who was really urging me to, to stay on the bandwagon and I mean, I told him I'm I'm looking for Yowies 24/7. Uh, I, I let him know that you know I hadn't given up the game, but but he said it's really important to document these things, and um, so here we are. Um, hopefully, in the next video, I'll just get some solid um, film evidence of me hanging out with the Yowies. I've learnt I've learnt not to. Um, sort of capitulate to their requests. They have some strange requests. Uh, for instance, that that song um, that I played to the little ones. You sort of, you know, you give them an, an inch, they'll take a mile. And then when you when you retract that that thing that they they like so much, they might um, turn on you. Um, so yeah, like if anyone thinks that <laughs> that the um, yowie hunting isn't my full-time occupation and that I that I'm not dedicated to, to like is the Pope <laughs> shit in the woods um no yes 
yes, I am still hunt, uh, busting the yowie, and um, I would encourage anybody else to do so. It's a fantastic uh, pastime. Um, it, the, the rewards and benefits are just innumerable, and um, yeah, for everyone out there that's uh, doing the hard work of um, getting out in the wilderness and and looking for yowies, just just keep at it. Um, uh, and that's about it for me. So uh, I will. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.